everyone. So as you just saw, we are getting a brand new DLC from Planet Zoo that's going to be coming in about a week, just over a week um, as of recording this video on April 7th. And the pack is going to be the South American pack there. So uh, yeah, for the last little bit, uh, Planet Zoo team on their Twitter and all of their social medias have been kind of hinting at a new DLC coming with uh, some little uh, little game going on on their social medias, kind of showing off some like temple ruins and uh, just kind of had a kind of a jungly South American type feel there so they were doing that for the past three or four days and then today the 31st they went ahead and dropped that video that you just saw there as well as um, some uh, new teaser picks for the animals that are coming as well that we are gonna go ahead and look at as the video goes on there but yeah this is uh, gonna be a brand new DLC with uh, 250 new scenery pieces inspired by the wonderfully diverse South American content uh, content continent and uh, also getting five new animals so that's four um, I guess you'd say not exhibit animals and then one exhibit animal if you don't know what that is an exhibit animal is like in the box like in the square box basically and they're on like a predetermined like loop of um kind of animations that they do but that's going to be um that we're getting there so let's go ahead and read over the details of the pack and we'll get into the nitty gritty and i'll give you a few of my thoughts um on what the pack um is bringing to us there so um again let me i'm gonna go ahead and read this just straight from the frontier planet zoo website there um enrich your zoos with over 250 new scenery pieces inspired by the wonderfully diverse South American continent. Care for and learn about five unique new animals and craft zoos with distinct foliage and architecture ranging from the lush greens of the um, Amazon basin to the heights of the Andean mountain range. Uh, take a walk on the wild side. Welcome five iconic new animals from the South American region to your zoos. The jaguar, my favorite, llama, capuchin monkey, giant ant eater and the red-eyed tree frog so the red-eyed tree frog is going to be your exhibit animals with other four before it the jaguar llama capuchin monkey and giant ant eater are your regular animals that you can just place um anywhere in your zoo kind of thing uh each of these animals will come with their own set of needs and habitat requirements and it will be up to you to keep them healthy and happy in your parks zoos uh over 250 new scenery pieces Create your own jungle adventure. Construct an Aztec temple park entrance. Theme your habitats with treasures from civilizations past or build your very own rainforest. There are over 250 new building scenery and foliage pieces to choose from and get inspired by. Uh, the South America pack will be available for purchase for, then it's kind of like the regular prices. I think it's uh, 7.99 euro. Uh, 1099 uh, yeah so it's like your regular steam um frontier prices there so there you go but yeah this is going to be a dlc so you will need the base game they're just letting you know you'll need the base game to play this and it is going to be additional content that you will have to pay for there so there is also going to be a free update coming with the game as well um that was announced a few days ago so um there's gonna be a free update coming out with a bunch of management changes to the game um some different um animal behaviors are coming as well um but there's a whole thing out um for that as well but that's gonna be coming as well so there's gonna be a free update and there's gonna be this paid dlc update as well there um but yeah, as i mentioned before there's uh they also released a bunch of pictures um kind of showing off the animals and some of the scenery as well so going through that our first one we have here is a picture of the jaguar and i think between this and possibly the llama because i mean come on llamas are amazing um this might be my favorite animal coming into the game now i do know that we've kind of technically ish have had the Jaguar in game for a little bit now. And that's um, thanks in part to the awesome modding community that Planet Zoo has. Um, if you didn't know from Zoo Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon 2, there was a ginormous uh, modding community in that, that they produced some amazing uh, new animals and I think building pieces and even kind of modded the game itself but anyways they've uh, brought that over to planet zoo in a little bit of a sense uh, planet zoo is a little bit more difficult to mod than some of those older games there but they have already um implemented their own jaguar and it replaces i think the lion and stuff like that but anyways uh point being we've kind of had the jaguar if you wanted it to um but this is the official jaguar so those of you that replaced your model with the jaguar model in game you can switch it back out so there's the jaguar looking um just amazing as always there and you get some of the new plants in the background too some of those south american plants so that's that's the other big thing um, from this pack is uh, I think the foliage is going to be another highlight, another star there. So um, this next one up here, we have the llama, which is going to probably be my third favorite um, animal from the pack there. Uh, again, first is going to be the jaguar, but there they are standing ever so eloquently in uh, in the the mountaintops there. Where are they from? They're from, uh, I know they're in South America, obviously, but I know they live in the mountaintops there. Is it Peru? Anyway, someone will let me know down below. So we have the llamas, and then uh, we have the... The frog there. What was it called? The, yeah, the green frog there. So that's that's nice. The exhibit animals, they're neat. I 
admire that they're in game. I just wish that they were done a little bit better, not just in giant boxes. Because when you go to a zoo, the terrariums and different aquariums and stuff like that, you see these kind of animals in. Uh, they're not just giant boxes. <laughs> so, um, but again, it's kind of neat that we uh, get the, this in game. It's a very pretty animal. <clears throat> and the last is going to be for the animals is going to be the capuchin monkey, which is my second favorite coming out of this. Uh, monkeys and primates in general are some of my favorite animals. But the capuchin monkey, I always relate this back to like the Indiana Jones movies, basically. So that's that's where my thinking comes of it but yeah these little cute guys they're gonna be really really fun to see how their animations and um uh, emotions and all that fun stuff are in the game to see how they uh see how they act there so there are the animals and then we have one oh i'm i how could i forget what a boob um <laughs> i forgot about the anteater anteaters are neat um that's that's about all i have to say about anteaters i've always like i know people have like a really big fascination with them but i've always thought they were kind of ugly yeah i'm that guy hi i call an animal ugly ah uh, but <laughs> but i always thought they were really weird looking and kind of ugly and it was like yeah they're cool they suck up ants and stuff but uh you know that's cool i'm sure a lot of people like the anteaters i'm just not they've never been one of my favorite animals but something cool in this picture and i've um forgot to mention the other ones but you can kind of see some of the new building sets here as well some of this new bamboo coming in right there so that's really nice to see and i believe this is a new tree in the background as well so um there is that and then here is um the last picture um that they went ahead and showed off which is just some of these scenery and building pieces that are coming to the game here and again we can kind of really see um uh, this great thatch and bamboo set coming here um, we even have some, it looks like some new statues or, uh, yeah, some new anteater statues in the bottom right-hand corner. I want to say that those trunks of the tree here, of the palm tree looking trunks, I think those are new. I think, I think. Um, but yeah, there you go. So there's a lot to take in from this picture alone. There's some of the uh, butterflies up top there. Butterfly, I want real butterflies in the game, but, <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so there's a lot to take in there with the new scenery there, so there is all of that, there's what's coming to the um, the new pack as well, just again, a quick rundown, you know, I got the 250 new um, building pieces, five new animals, four of which are uh, roaming animals, one of which is, in, is uh, an exhibit animal, and again, all this is coming on April 7th, so about a week away from recording uh, this video there, so there is all that, so my thoughts, what do I think, am I excited, am I, what, what am I thinking about? About this uh, DLC so my first reaction without playing it at all is I'm disappointed I am a little bit disappointed I'm excited for new building pieces I always am as a creative builder and stuff but the lack of animals is what's really um, putting me off to this pack to be honest with you and I'm not alone I, I went ahead and I, I, I talk a lot with people in uh, on the bro nation discord um, I had a, a few private messages with other content creators and stuff and the common consensus is is kind of like yeah this looks nice the pieces are gonna be great the animals look great as always that's always you know frontier never skimps out on stuff that they release usually um, so everything looks great it's gonna sound great it's gonna you know the pieces are awesome but it's just we're felt with a lack of with a sense of eh? Is that it? Like, yeah, all right. I even said in the last one, we got the Arctic pack that we got four animals in one building. So I think like 250 building pieces or maybe less. And, it, and I said then it felt like in Planet Coaster, we had mini packs, which were like Knight Rider packs, Munster packs. And these were smaller packs that were like, I think they were five bucks, five or $6 because they didn't give as much content. And these packs almost feel like that. And I don't want to say that like too harshly because it's, I don't want to put down anyone at Frontier or, you know, any of the artists or anything like that. But it's just the, the amount of content in the packs that we've gotten so far for Planet Zoo feel really low. It just feels like a mini pack from Planet Coaster. And um, in the Arctic pack, we got four animals. And this one, we're getting five animals. So it just... It, a lot of us wish that they would just focus more on the animal part of the zoo game rather than giving us an ancient temple building set. Um, again, I'm sure it's gonna be fun to build with. And, you know, we, we had a very almost identical pack in Planet Coaster called the Adventure Pack, which gave us a lot of great uh, building pieces. And it's one of my favorite packs from Planet Coaster. Um, and maybe that's part of it too for Planet Zoo is just that I feel like we're doing the same stuff with Planet Zoo that we did with Planet Coaster, but we're just not getting amount, the same amount of meat and potatoes as we are with Planet Coaster. So we, again, we got the Adventure Pack with Planet Coaster. Now we're getting the uh, South American Pack, which is basically the Adventure Pack for um, Planet Zoo, but it doesn't feel like we have the punch coming with it with the animals. It just feels like I wish they would focus more on giving us like 10 new animals um, and then, you know, maybe one new building set and uh, that, sure, and a free update alongside it that does some bug fixes and, um, you know, what they normally do. But I don't know, it just feels like for a zoo game that, well, again, the building sets are nice to have with it. Um, 
A, it just feels like we should be focusing more on the animals for a zoo game, and B, with those building sets now, we have Arctic set and the South American set, I wish that the sets would, and this is just a personal thing for me because that's my building style, but I wish the sets would focus more on what an actual zoo looks like, you know? Um, I know that they have themed up habitats and themed up exhibits that are like dressed up like temples and you know they, they there's some themes and zoos and stuff but I feel like right now the game is just missing a core aspect of it which is making a zoo. We don't have I feel like enough building pieces or animals or whatever have you. I'd like to hear from your um, comments down below. I know some people just felt have said that they felt the game feels stale and I feel like this isn't going to fully help that. Um, I still feel like it's going to be a nice little pop. Um, seeing the new stuff and the new animals, but then it's gonna fall immediately back to being stale just because we don't have zoo things, you know? We don't have enough to make a full-fledged BAM! Zoo! <laughs> you know, I know I'm being very, just not very descriptive right now. I really would like to get a community discussion about this, but what do you think needs to come in the future to um, Planet Zoo and stuff like that to really make it feel like that zoo game, not like an animal builder with temple pieces um, game, but you know, this is called Planet Zoo, right? It's a zoo game. So what do you think needs to happen to make this more of a zoo type game? And um, and yeah, what do you think of the, uh, you know, overall that my rant is done there. Though. So there, I got it off my chest. I just had to tell my community, everyone, how I was feeling there. So uh, do you, uh, yeah, how do you feel? Do you agree with my sentiment that there should be more focus on um, more qu uh, quantity of animals and less building pieces? Are you fine with how it's been so far? Um, you know, I just, I would really like to get everyone's opinion on what do you think? Um, you know, are you a new Planet Zoo player? And what do you think? Are you a Planet Coaster player? And you know, what are you thinking? Like, you know, you're being my mindset kind of thing. But yeah, again, I just, uh, after this little rant or ramble, I just, I'm really curious what everyone else's mindset is going into this DLC there. So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up there. And uh, yeah, if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video and all that fun stuff. There will be a lot more uh, Planet Zoo content coming out as we're doing our Brookfield Zoo recreation and uh, once the DLC does come out we'll definitely be doing some content and looking over the actual pack and doing a full and final judgment of it um, when it comes out there so hey thanks so much everyone for hanging out I always do appreciate it and until the next video for Planet Zoo there y'all have a good one thanks so much